fantastic room. It's so good to be here with everyone. Yes! Everything ever. Tonight, I am here to celebrate two of our artists who have lit the way for and inspired future generations. Oh, director Domi Shi and Julia Cho, who co-wrote the delightful and subversive Disney Pixar's Turning Red. Hope everyone has seen it. Never before has puberty, and I should say Asian tween girl puberty. Thank you. Uh, been so honestly and creatively portrayed in a movie. Now these women wrote a smart, funny, relatable story for anyone young or older who's ever felt the pressure of family expectations bearing down on them. And I think that's like basically everyone in this room. <laughs> As Ming, my character, tells Mei Lin, her daughter in the film, don't hold back for anyone. The further you go, the prouder I'll be. I could not be prouder to honor these two artists for their immense achievement and for all that Turning Red means to us. Let's take a look at their work. To me, I think finding the character as early as possible is the most important thing to making a good story. Luckily, I don't have that problem. The inner panda was a great metaphor for all of us because every single person on the crew could identify with having grown up with some part of themselves that was awkward and uncomfortable and messy. And so I think it was just a great way for the movie to like let us all embrace our own inner pandas. I've never met nobody like, like you. A lot of people are going through it right now in their lives and any way just to give them a piece of media that can make them laugh and tell them that everything's gonna be okay even though it's a it's a hot mess right now. I think that's that's everything, you know? You never know I'm a man. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. I'm never not by your side. side. Your side, your side, your side. Oh Welcome to the stage, Domi Shi and Julia Cho. Yo. Go, Julia, go, 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 go. These are really heavy. Okay, very I'm, heavy. I'm a writer, so I use paper. I'm sorry. You're a good Asian, it's okay. Yes, okay. Um, all right, thank you so much for this unbelievable honor. Um, it's a kind of common refrain tonight, but neither Domi nor I grew up in a world where storytelling and filmmaking were things people like us actually did. We're only here tonight because of the faith of parents and loved ones who encouraged and nurtured us when they could have so easily told us to give up, lower our expectations, and dream smaller. Growing up, my dad would sometimes tell me, you have a big job to do. He never really explained what the job was, and somehow I failed to ask. And then since he passed away in 2010, I've often regretted that. But as time goes on, I think I've started to understand what he meant. I have a job, as do you. Every single person in this room has this job. It's to create, to speak, to tell our own stories, and I think maybe even more importantly, to help others tell theirs. <laughs> so whatever your actual occupation, that is your work, your real work, because it is our stories that make our world. So it's hard work. I think everyone here knows that. It's lonely, it's scary, and often goes without recognition at all. And sometimes you might even catch hostility and hate. So an award like this is actually really necessary. It's oxygen, it's sustenance. It reminds us that the work is important. And because of that, the work can go on. So. <laughs> uh, so. 
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We are so indebted to Disney Pixar, to the incredible artists and crew of Turning Red, uh, led by our producer, Lindsay Collins, Woo! Woo! our creative collaborators, many of whom are here tonight, Sandra, Rosalie, oh my gosh, rock stars. And thank you to Character Media and to the unforgettable team. We truly will never forget this night. Thank you for, for everything. We are redefining what universal stories look like and who gets to tell them. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much.